Still exciting day uh, for sure coming tomorrow. Did you expect to feel that good? Before uh, that? You always want, uh, but uh, yeah, then uh, you see uh, how it is, so I'm happy. I'm Your son is there. Your son is there. Yeah, yeah, I, you see him? I, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will go to, to meet them. Yes. Okay, thanks, Primo. Thank you. Primo Rogic! <laughs> very nice to, to race against my idol because I really look up to him so uh, yeah it's just it's just very nice to race with a superstar like Primoz and some of them they even do wheelies <laughs> Yes guys, so as many of you might know, apart from being a cyclist, I'm a journalist and last week the region where I live, uh, Catalonia, host uh, the Tour of Catalonia where the best cyclists of the world came to our race. It was like a Tour de France participation, it was crazy. We had guys like Remco Evenepoel, the world champ, uh, Primo Roglic, guys like Carapaz, Bernal, the former winner of the of the Giro d'Italia, the Aussie, Jain Hidley. So, as, you told, as I told you, I'm a journalist, so last week I covered the, the Volta Catalunya and I want to share, I want to share this experience with you guys. Primo Rogic! <laughs> The race was won by the Slovenian Primoz Roglic, but I have to say that was quite a surprise because Primoz had a big operation in the end of 2022, so he got to the beginning of the season without training as much as he wanted, so this Volta Catalunya was for him like a, a training, he wasn't for sure at 100%, so we could see that in the first stages he was like suffering a lot to be behind a Remco Evenepoel, to not get dropped from the wheel of the world champ but day after day the condition of Primoz Roglic grow and we saw like a totally different Primoz Roglic in the stage number seven than in the stage number two. Now we've got footage of the first uh, summit finish stage number two in Valter 2000 where Primoz Roglic was suffering a lot to follow the wheel of Remco Evenepoel. <laughs> So something very cool about watching a live stage is also watching the guys from behind, the guys that they never get on camera in a hot climb like this one, how they relax, how they interact with the public. And some of them, they even do wheelies. Kiko! Grande! <laughs> I think that not everybody knows about life stage is that in climbs like this one they climb up and then they get the warm clothing and they descend because the buses uh, in the bottom of the climb course, these mountain roads are very narrow, very twisty, and big buses like the the cycling ones can can get to the to the top. So yeah, they just climb up, get warm stuff, and then they they descend. Grandega. <laughs> Come on, hater! Come on, come on, come on! Hey, One of the craziest things of cycling currently is that guys like 
Roglic, Remco, but we've seen also in other races where Pogacar or Jonas Bingegar, they are guys that they fight in Grand Tours, but they're fighing every single stage, every single small race. That's crazy. And in this Tour of Catalonia, for sure, we had Remco and Roglic, two big names, fighting for the GC, but we also had other big names like Carapaz, like Bernal, like Hidley, that the Aussie tells us that for him, Tour of Catalonia is just like a block of training. He doesn't care about the final result. He just wants to feel the sensations because this year he's preparing the Tour de France. So now we're going to speak with uh, Jan Hidley about his preparation in the Tour of Catalonia. So we are with Jan uh, Hidley, winner of the Giro d'Italia. What's your main objective in this Volta Catalonia? Because are you building for the Giro? What's the tactic this year? No, I mean, uh, normally I go on the Tour, so uh, yeah, this is... Uh, um, I was actually not meant to be here, I was meant to be racing Basque Country, so I actually got called in pretty late, but um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it, it's a nice race, so uh, hopefully, hopefully the legs get better as the race uh, continues and uh, I can be up there on GC at the end of the week. Something I really like about you is that you plan really good the big objective, so there's riders that they are full gas all year, but you know how to get to the main objective of the year at 100%, so how do you plan that, because sometimes it's a lot of pressure to just wait to the objective how do you do it yeah i think it's uh i don't know i think it's important that you just keep focused on yourself and not worry about what everyone else is doing you know what i mean uh because it's very easy to look at you know the other gc guys now who are i don't know focusing on the duro and of course they're going really well now uh, but yeah like my main objective is the tour and that's a bit later on so for me um, i'm pretty happy with where i'm at at the moment and uh yeah, we just keep building and, um, you know, do some altitude counts before the tour and, uh, yeah, hopefully it comes good for July. And last question I'll let you go. Yeah. Uh, after winning the Giro d'Italia last year, you go to the Tour de France, so is the podium, the yellow jersey, the objective? I mean, what, what do you want to do in the Tour de France? Yeah, I mean, for me, it's uh, it's a bit of an unknown. I've never done the Tour, actually, so it's hard to say. Uh, but yeah, of course, you know, you want to go there when, and achieve some form of success, you know, if it's a, to go for a stage or to go for GC. Um, yeah, why not both? Why not both, you know what I mean? So, yeah, for sure, I mean, the dream would be to stand on the podium in Paris, but um, yeah, for sure, there's a lot of work to be done before that, and um, yeah, a long way to go before that happens. So, uh, yeah, we just take this as well. Perfect, I'll see you the next time. Yeah. That's for your day. Have a good day. Looking forward to see what's able to do Jan Hidley in the next Tour de France. Another thing that is cool about Tour of Catalonia is that we saw two out of the best youngsters in the world. On one hand, we've got the Frenchman Lenny Martinez. He was the youngest rider in Tour of Catalonia and despite that, he made a top 12 in the GC and he got six in the queen stage of the race. We also spoke with Kian Udebrooks, he's called the next Remco Evenepoel in Belgium, uh, a guy that is also very nice but is very strong on the bike. So now you'll see some footage of the stage number three, stage number six, the two of the hardest uh, mountain stages of the race where Lenny Martinez was doing great in the mountains but also Kian Udebrooks was doing great also in the mountains fighting against I mean, I, like I told you guys that uh, to the French participation. <laughs> The two of you in top what 10, are you doing? how are you doing guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, it's really suffering, that's for sure. Uh, I think she's pedaling as hard as possible and uh, yeah, in the end uh, it, we are in now, so we are really surprised both, I think. And uh, now for me, I'm trying to keep in the GC, let's say. The other day I was speaking with a friend and I was, thinking, I was speaking about him, I was telling him, I interviewed Kianu 
the Brooks was saying, is he like the next Remco in Spain? People call you the next Remco. What do you think when people say that? Oh, I, I will stay uh, myself, let's say. Uh, like, I think I'm also a bit different rider as Remco, a little bit less explosive also. Uh, and he's a bit better in time travel. <laughs> so, but, uh, strength is good to be. Like, the yeah, main strength. I, I, I hope that it will become like that in the future, yeah. <laughs> that would be nice. What's your, your best terrain? I mean, like long climbs, what do you define? Yeah, yeah, for sure the long climbs, like uh, Valter is perfect for me, let's say. Okay, but like yeah, yeah, yesterday uh, one was good for you. Yeah, it was also not bad. Like a bit steep yeah. maybe, because I'm a bit uh, heavier as the really light small guys. But like Valter and stuff, it's, it's really, uh, really good. So, thank you, man. Tour of Catalonia, one of the uh, big things was that the race was thrilling till the end. Two big names, Remco and Roglic, but there was emotion till the last stage. And the last day in Barcelona, the race was uh, finishing in, in the capital of Catalonia, stage number seven. There was just a gap of six seconds between Roglic and, and Remco. So the day before of the last stage in Barcelona, we spoke with Primoz Roglic was big pleasure to speak with him. I was even shaking just after the uh, the interview because I mean, come on, Primoz Roglic is just a big name. Roglic, it is nice to be back and uh, yeah, uh, it's exciting racing uh, in front of us uh, still uh, tomorrow Monday morning. Primoz, Primoz, your your shape is growing in this Volta in this Volta Catalonia after the operation. You got here a little bit, not 100 percent, but day after day, at least in the mountain, it seems that you are going faster, better. Is yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, definitely, I'm. Uh, I'm growing, yes, I feel better, uh, so uh, yeah, uh, still exciting day uh, for sure coming tomorrow. Did you expect to feel that good? Before uh, that? You always want, uh, but uh, yeah, then uh, you see uh, how it is, so I'm happy. I'm... Your son is there, your son is there. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 will, I, will, I, will, I will go to, to meet them, yeah. Okay, thanks very much. Thank you. Another big thing is that when you are a media, you I mean have access to places that you could dream of. And I was like, uh, I'm interviewing now. Uh, you'll see a little interview with Remco Evenepoel, his feelings, his thoughts before the last and crucial stage of the Tour of uh, Catalonia. And you see, I mean, how they recover. And this footage, you see, I mean, the recovery milkshake uh, Remco is uh, drinking right after the stage, even in the middle of, of interviews. I mean, the first 15 minutes are very important. They call the window where you have to eat a lot because it's when the body digests better the 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 food and 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 the recovery is, is the, the better timing so while he was uh, giving interviews he had his like chocolate milkshake that you see here and he was i mean recovering thinking on on the the final stage so now that's the little chat i had with the world champ remco evenepoel yeah it's actually very nice to to race against my idol because i really look up to him so uh yeah it's just it's just very nice to race with a superstar like Primoz. Thank you. Thank you. Tomorrow, tomorrow circuit, tomorrow circuit is kind of like a world champ circuit, like six laps, so it fits you very good. So, what do you think you can do like in a circuit like that with a short climb, some downhill? <coughs> um, yeah, like I said, of course there will be some attacks. Maybe not only for me because also some guys behind they want to go for the yeah for a better GC spot probably. But of course uh, we would like to take to take another stage win. I think today we. We missed out. If uh, if Primoz works with me, we can go for the station. But I understand the the reason why he was not working. But tomorrow, yeah, we will try. It's going to be a hard race. It's the last day. It's going to be a short and explosive stage. So uh, we will try to go for it, and uh, we will see. But I think so far. This week has been uh, pretty successful. Thanks, Sam. Okay. Yeah, so the race finished in Barcelona. I went with my friends to, to see the, the stage the last day. It was just uh, enjoying. I, I covered uh, six out of the seven stages, and the last one was in Barcelona. So I just went with my friends and saw the, the race. They were doing a circuit, six laps, uh, quite, quite tough. But finally, Remco won the stage, but Roglic was uh, very solid and he won the, the GC. It was crazy seeing the amount of people that went to, to Barcelona to enjoy the last stage of this uh, Tour de Catalonia. That, yeah, I have to say that was a crazy experience in this channel. I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys more videos uh, once I'm covering other races, but it was such a pleasure to have the best riders of the world. Like I say, uh, to the friends participation in the race, I mean, in the, the race we're back home in the Tour of Catalonia. So hope you, you like the video and see you guys uh, in, in the next videos. Ciao, guys.